What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a security analyst and college student. And this video is gonna be the next installment in the Cybersecurity Home Lab project. Uh, previously, we've gone over the topology, we've gone over installing PFSense and installing Security Onion. And today we will be installing Kali Linux, which is gonna be our attack machine. So over here at cyberworksacademy.com, head over to the blog section and down here in the labs, we will go to build a cybersecurity home lab, which is the only thing in the labs currently. And let's kind of look at our topology and look at what we're working with today. So Kali Linux is our attack machine right here, which we'll be using to propagate attacks against our victim network. Now we've gone over PFSense, we've gone over Security Onion, so now we'll be going um, into installing Kali Linux. It's going to be a really short and simple video. Uh, we're not doing anything too complicated, so... And scroll all the way down we've gone through that we've gone through that we've gone through all of that all right here we are so Kali Linux will be used as an attack machine to propagate different forms of offensive actions against the domain controller and the other machines attached to it and we'll be able to see all of those things in our logs on security onion as well as uh, Splunk when we will later configure uh, in this project so you can download the Kali Linux ISO from here. Um, I recommend just downloading the custom ISO either for VMware or for VirtualBox. So for VMware here, just download the 64-bit. Um, for VirtualBox, I think it should also be somewhere here, but I'm, I'm, I'll be using the VMware one. So you just download the 64-bit. It's a lot easier to uh, configure it, it like if you're using that, uh, you know, that version. It's just it's just so simple to do. So we're just uh, go into the screen so our our, PF, our VMware workstation I currently have PFSense running um, I like to have it running just in case um, but yeah so let's go home and all right so head over to whatever folder you downloaded the Kali uh, folder to it's gonna it's a it's a big download so it's gonna take a little bit of time so when you eventually um, open the when you eventually have the download ready so look for the VMX file which is the virtual machine executable file and double click on that and it will bring you straight into uh, VMware workstation and you can power the machine we don't really want to make any changes we just look at uh, okay let's just cancel that uh, let's just look at the settings of the machine uh, we really don't have any major changes we want to do we're just gonna leave it as it is uh, maybe later on we might uh, make any changes but what we want to do here is actually want to add a network adapter to it so we will we'll add network adapter so network adapter 2 will be mapped to vmnet 2 so let's just add that and okay all right so we will we'll power on the machine just click enter and this is a really really easy install um because you're not going through like any um you know initial processes with vmware workstation you just load in the virtual machine executable and it just powers on from there beautiful all right so we'll log in with the default credentials uh, the default credentials are Kali Kali but uh, I already changed the password for mine so I'll leave it as this Ooh, it's from a previous work I did but what we want to do here, um, so the default credentials really come as uh, Kali Kali. So you want to change the password using this command. So PSSWD, and it will ask you for the current password, which is Kali, and then you enter your new password. So I'm just going to cancel that because uh, I already have the password I want set up. So that is our installation for Kali Linux. Um, like I said, this was going to be a really short video. Um, we're not going to do anything. Uh, more in this video. The next video is going to be covering um, PFSense interface interfaces and rules. So we'll be using our Kali machine to uh, change the settings of PFSense, you know, in the web configurator and going through that so that we can have PFSense set up. And then after that, we'll be going into installing our server, um, our domain controller. And yeah, that's that's all for today's video. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to smash the like button and also smash the subscribe button if you've not smashed it yet. And if you know anyone who this video is going to provide value to, please be sure to share it. And yeah, thank you very much for watching the video once again. I'll see you in the next video.